Hi there, I'm Nabil Murad. In this training video, I would like to talk about a common tool that we all use when we create a setup in Excel. So let's assume I have a setup like this one. I created a nice list and I have a title at the top and I type the text for that title in cell A1. And I would like to center that title across my list. I would like to center that title from A1 to cell E1. So what do we do? What do most of us do? We select the different cells. Although right now my text is in cell A1, I'm still able to use B1, I'm still able to click on cell C1, D1, E1, and so on. But if I select all the cells, and I would like to center my title across the five cells, so I'll use the Merge and Center command. If you know what the Merge and Center is doing, the Merge and Center in fact combined the five cells and considered them one single cell. This is what it does. So if I try to select A1, it's, it's the one that appears in the name box right now, but if I try to select B1, C1, D1, E1, I can't do that anymore. So the Merchant Center command, in fact, damages the structure of your worksheet. I would like to show you a much better command than the Merchant Center command. And this one gives you the same exact visual result without affecting the structure of your worksheet, without affecting the structure of your cells. So it doesn't, it doesn't in fact, interfere with the advanced functionality in Excel, whether you are pivoting your data or you are inserting columns. So I'm going to undo this step by clicking the undo command or using the shortcut Control Z. And I want to show you that command, which is available in the format cell dialog box. The format cell dialog box is one of the very important dialog boxes in Excel. That's why Microsoft made it available from five different locations. If you click on the down arrow of the format command, you will see format cell dialog box. If you click on the down arrow of the drop list in the number group of the home tab and select more number format, you will access the format cell dialog box as well. You can also access the format cell dialog box by clicking on these small squares in the lower right corner of each group on the home tab. If you click on any one of these, it opens the format cell dialog box. You can also open the Format Cell dialog box by right-clicking on your selection and select Format Cell. That's another way of accessing the Format Cell. But I would like to show you a nice shortcut to access the Format Cell dialog box. The shortcut is Control and Number 1. Control 1 opens the Format Cell dialog box. On the Format Cell dialog box, I have six tabs. And since we are talking about alignment, so I'll click on the Alignment tab. This alignment from A1 to E1, this is a horizontal alignment. So I'll click on the down arrow where it says horizontal, and here is my command that comes for rescue, the center across selection. I'll be selecting this command. And when I hit OK, look at the result. Same exact visual result with a great difference. If I select E1, look at the name box, you can see the selected cell. I can select D1, C1, B1, A1. And although the contents are in A1, and although I get the same exact visual result, but in fact, I'm not affecting the structure of my worksheet. I'm going to redo it for the next row. In the next row, in cell A2, I'm going to select the five cells, and then I'll hit Control-1 to open the format cell dialog box. Under horizontal alignment, I'll select center across selection. That's a beautiful command that preserves the structure of my worksheet, and at the same time, it gives me the visual result that I was looking for. If you are using this command repetitively, I would like to show you another way of making it available instead of digging through the different dialog boxes and tabs. In order to do that, we can write a simple code in VBA. I did that on your behalf. How to access the Visual Basic Editor? I'll hit Alt F11 to open the Visual Basic Editor. In the Visual Basic Editor, I inserted a new module by selecting Insert and Module, and I typed a name of my sub-procedure, sub, I gave it a name, Center Across Selection. You can give it whatever name you want, and when you hit Enter, you get the end sub. Between the sub and the end sub, you type your code three words. What are these three words? Let's see them. Selection, dot horizontal alignment, equal, Excel, center across selection. That's all. 
I created that code and I would like to use it. We have so many ways of running this code, but I'll show you a nice way in case you are using this command repetitively. I want to add it to my interface and I'm going to add it to my quick access toolbar. So to add this macro or sub procedure to my quick access toolbar, I click on the down arrow to the right side of the quick access toolbar and select more commands. I need to add a macro. So from the drop list in the Excel options dialog box, I'll select macros. And here's my macro center across selection. I'll select it from the left pane and move it to the right pane, which represents my quick access toolbar. I can give it a nice icon instead of this one. I can give it a nice name because in the Visual Basic Editor, in the sub procedure name, we are not allowed spaces. So I'm going to click on modify. And here I'll give it this smiling face. I'll add some spaces between the different words to make it more user friendly. And I'll hit OK and another OK. And I'm done. Let's see the example. I'm going to make a selection and then click on the smiling face. Same exact result. It centers my title across the selection. Let's repeat it one last time in row two. I'm going to click on the smiling face to trigger my sub procedure and I get the same exact result. Notice that when I use a, a code in VBA, the rule says whatever you do with a code cannot be undone. That's why the undo command is grayed out. So I showed you two commands the merge and center command and the center across selection, which is way better than the merge and center command. Thank you for watching. And until we meet in our next training video, your comments are much appreciated.